Hey everyone and welcome back to VFX Y once again. So in today's video, we are going to see next episode of our ongoing series, which is Nuke 301. So in today's video, we are going to continue our compositing work and let's see how to proceed further for compositing. So without wasting any time, let's get started. Okay, so as you can see over here, we finished till here. So let me revise it. So this is our render and these are the layer which I have rendered from Maya and I splitted my each and every layer like a uh, key light, like rim light and I started adding it, right? Can you see that? I added each and every layer. Apart from that, I introduce reformatting and lens distortion because we are following lens distortion workflow. And apart from that, we have our background over here and in background, I added my shadow and I merge it over. Apart from that, we saw in previous video that how we can uh, rectify the pre-multiplication error, right? If you haven't seen yet, I will recommend to go and check previous videos as well, right? Okay. So first thing first, today we are going to see what is my black level of this render and what is black level of my scan plate, right? To check black level or black point, just you have to increase the gain of your viewer and I will increase gain till I'm getting my shadows only. So you can see in shadows, we have a reddish kind of stuff, but if we will see reference we are having some sort of cyan bluish color in our shadow so we have to match our shadow of cg render to shadow of our reference which is scan plate so how to do that so i'm going to take a grade node over here and i'm going to connect it and probably i'll disable it right so let me increase this thing as well till i'm getting shadows only so i'm getting pretty good amount of shadow over here. So what you have to do in black point, you have to choose picker and you have to pick target shadow. In this case, our target is our CG render, right? So probably I'll, I'll choose this, but this is pure black. So I'm not going to choose it. So let's, let's select this spot for shadow and in lift, you have to choose reference shadow, right? In this case, reference is our scan plate, right? So I'm going to decrease it and you can see easily I'm getting shadow of this character, right? Probably I'll choose from here. I'll choose from here. I'll choose from here. I'll choose from here, right? So I'm going in lift and I'm going to select my black point. Now, what you have to do, just you have to reset it and you have to enable our grade. Probably you are not seeing any kind of changes. So if I'm going to do this and if I'm going to increase it, now you can easily see the shadow of our character, CZ character is matching with our reference, right? So to double check it, you can see, right? So now it's matching pretty fine, but there is a problem. If I'm going to enable disable it, you can easily see my scan plate is also getting affected, right? So to fix it, I'm going in grade and over here on pre by or pre by, I'm going to select alpha. So what will happen? My alpha will be multiplied with my RGB and automatically it will be fixed. So now if you can see only changes I'm getting over here, right? And apart from that, if I want to match white point and in this case, I think white point is in a good state. So I don't need to change anything. But if you want to match white point as well, so you have to select white point of target and gain of your reference. If you want to know in more detail, I have already made a video. I'll put link in the description or I'll put link in the card as well. You can go and you can check, right? I think it's a very good start to do our compositing. Apart from that, as I can see over here in my character, I can see a very prominent rim is coming, right? But in our character, rim is not there, right? So how to fix it? Just let's go and let's check our rim light. So here, we have our rim light and probably we are getting nothing. But if I'm going to increase my gain, you can see we have lots of detail over here, right? So to increase it, I'm going to see through here and I'm going to take a grade node. And in grade node, I'm going to increase my gain. 
so you can easily see now i am getting my rim light so if i want i can increase more or probably i'll do some white so now you can see i am getting my rim light pretty defined right as per my character okay this is something we can do and probably if you'll notice in highlight i am getting a pretty soft glow kind of stuff so same thing we have to mimic with our character so how we can do that so let me check where my yeah this is my highlights or specular so i am going to treat them so i am going to make some space like this okay and now i am going to take a dot node and in dot node i am going to connect a node called glow and in glow i am going to select effect only right and in effect only probably i'll feather it out and probably i'll i'll do some kind of brightness and apart from that i'll take merge and on top of my original specular i am going to screen it or plus it whatever you want you can do right and now i am going to see my final result and you can see i have lots of glow value so i can any time come over here and then i can reduce it so pretty subtle i am going to use something like that now it's taking shape apart from that i am seeing that i am getting very dark dark uh, value so to fix it i have a fill light probably the value of fill light is not that much so what i'm going to do again i'm going to take a grade node and probably i'll enhance it a bit then again it's totally your personal preference you can do as per your requirement my requirement is to enhance it so little i'm going to enhance and if you can see my this part or fill is i am getting something right nothing is black towards black so i'm getting good shape apart from that what i can do i can enhance little face light as well this light as well or probably i'll i'm having two face lights right this one and this one so let's take a grade node over here let's go to final output and let me check if i can enhance white point on probably this point yeah i'm getting little pinch over here if i'm going to enable it disable it little pinch on colors and all right same way i'm going to take a grade node over here as well and probably i'll do gain but i don't think so it will be needed but let's let's do a little if you feel anything is on higher side we can come any time to grade and we can cut it right but now it's taking good shape i think apart from that what i want i want to enhance his edge metal wear kind of stuff i want to enhance it a little more so how i can do that it's pretty simple let me figure it out where it is so in specular i am seeing i am having good amount of data of edge wear so to fix it i am going again over here let me make some space and let's take a grade node right and in grade node i am going to enhance it a little something like that but i don't want these data i only want my arm to achieve it i have to isolate these parts so to do that i am going to take a dot node over here and probably i will take a crypto mat and i'm going to connect it over here so once i'm going to connect my crypto mat i am getting all the data so i'll pick add hold down control click you are having your selection control click probably I, i don't want these assets i only want these assets so let's check how it's coming so i am going to take a merge node and probably i'll mask it so once i'm going to mask it uh, i don't want this thing so i need to remove it right so i only want these shapes if you want you can take helmet as well if you don't want don't do that so let me check yeah pretty much okay with it so i am getting these data only and if i am going to merge it over here let's check what will happen just plus it so in final comp you can easily see your know, these parts are coming pretty intense but i don't want that intense so what i have to do just go to grade and just lower down the white point pretty subtle also if you want to add some breakdown to it we can easily do it so to do that we have another setup let me show it to you i'm going over here and i'm going to take a node called st map also i'm going to take a node called shuffle 
I'm going to shuffle it. My UV pass. Basically, UV pass is nothing but it's a UV unwrapping data in the form of pass. So I'm going to take a node called noise. And in noise, I am going to lower down my scaling. And apart from that, I'm going to connect my ST map over here and source over here. Right. It might possible I need to swap it, but let's check. And also you have to take care about what is the resolution of your that thing. Right. So I need to match the resolution. So to do that, I'm going to take a node called reformat and in reformat, I'm going to select this information and just connect to noise. So what will happen automatically will it will be reformatted and in ST map UV channel should be RGBA. So if you can see I'm getting these kind of uh, uh, texture wrapping don't worry about stretching and all because i don't want perfect data just i want randomness right so if i want i can increase my this thing and to use it i'm going to take a note called grade or probably i can take mask as well but in grade I'm going to use it as a mask and it will be RGBA. And if I'm going to lower down my gain, you can easily see I am getting some sort of variations, right? Isn't it? So I can do this. Probably I'll lower down the white point. And in fact, if I want, I can change my gamma and gain a little. So what will happen? Automatically, you can easily see I'm having some sort of variation, right? So probably I'll increase my size. So I'll have more variations, right? Something like that. And if I'm going to see it, it's pretty nice. If we think that this is too much, I can come anytime over here and I can lower down the mix. I'm pretty much okay with it. If I want lower down a little more, I can do this as well okay so you can easily see how things are getting shape right so if i'm going to check my black point one more time yeah it's intact probably i have to work on white point something like that but i think also white point is working pretty fine to me again there are multiple ways to enhance your comp so it's not possible for me to do it in 15 or 20 minutes it will take one or two sessions as well so i think this is it for this video i only showed the way how you have to tweak your render layers and how we can start getting shape towards your final output right so i hope this video will help you to understand the process of enhancing your comp and if you think that this video is helping you Please don't forget to like this video, share this video. And if you're new to the channel, please don't forget to subscribe. With this said, this is VFX Vibe signing off. Have a good day.